Tonight, World News is back with real ways to put money in your pocket right now and tonight on big medical bills. We ask ABC's Paula Ferris to see what she could do. Endless. Joyce Ann Houston has been a musician her entire life, even has her own wall of fame. Just last night, she was on stage, but today she's paying for it. Like millions of Americans, Joyce has a chronic medical condition. Hers is lupus. She preps her body for days before performing. Her music, her only escape, and it's how she pays the bills. She still owes $25,000 from her original diagnosis, and new bills from her ongoing care are mounting. Financially, where are you right now? In the hole. I could end up losing my house. What Joyce and millions of others didn't realize is that over half of the nation's hospitals, the nonprofits, have money that they are required to give back to the community, often through what's called patient assistance programs. Healthcare advocate Michelle Katz says it's hidden money that too many people don't know about. I don't think most people know, but they're required because they're receiving so many tax exemptions. That's, that's nonprofit. Michelle says anyone with huge bills may qualify, even if you have insurance, but you have to ask for it. Nonprofit hospitals are required to publicize their policies on assistance programs, but one study of 100 hospitals showed nearly half didn't mention it on their website, and almost 70% didn't tell you how to qualify when you called. With the help of the Colors of Lupus so Foundation in Lupus. Nevada, we went after you, some of that money Lady for J. Joyce. It took well, weeks of phone calls to her hospital to cut through the red tape. You should understand, if they announced it openly, everybody will be flooding, right? Mm -hmm. It's a matter of negotiation, knowing that it's there and not being afraid to ask for it. The result, her $25,000 hospital bill, now just $7,000. I'm just shocked you all were able to do that. Looks like your house is safe. Yeah. You're worried about oh, that. I know. I just didn't know how I was going to make it through. Can I hug you? <laughs> and today, I after saving 18000 on her medical bills, Joyce is singing a much different tune. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So nice to hear that the hospital's first offer was not their final offer. You saw that Joyce did benefit from having an advocate, but it's important to note that you can do this on your own. We do have a checklist on our website to help walk you through it. And our expert, Michelle Katz, is on Twitter right now. She is armed and ready to take your questions.